All right, fellow adventurers, buckle up as we embark on a thrilling journey through the vibrant city of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Our first stop will be at the National Museum, where we'll delve into the rich history and culture of this beautiful country. The museum showcases fascinating artifacts, archaeological finds, and exhibits that date back to the Stone Age. You'll be amazed by the diverse tribal traditions, ancient tools, and musical instruments that have shaped Tanzania's past. Remember, history is not just about facts, it's also a tale of humanity's triumphs and oddities, like that time an elephant was crowned the king of Tanzania. Just kidding, that never happened. Next, we'll head to the Kivakoni Fish Market, an action-packed spot where you can witness local fishermen's hustle and bustle. The sight and aroma of freshly caught fish are truly an experience to savor. But beware, folks, don't get too close to the auctioning process unless you're willing to haggle with the fishmongers over the price of a tuna. And hey, did you know that the largest fish ever caught in Tanzanian waters was so huge that it was named Big Splash? That's one fishy story to tell your friends back home. From there, we'll make our way to the stunning Askari Monument in the heart of the city. This striking statue commemorates the brave Askari soldiers who fought valiantly during World War I. As we admire the monument, let's take a moment to appreciate the unity and resilience of the Tanzanian people throughout history. And here's a little historical tidbit for you. Did you know that the Askari soldiers were so skilled in camouflage that they once played hide-and-seek with British troops, and the Brits never stood a chance? Now, it's time for some relaxation, and what better place to do that than at the botanical gardens? These lush gardens offer a serene escape from the city's hustle and are a perfect spot for a peaceful stroll. Keep an eye out for the playful monkeys swinging from the trees. They might even be on the lookout for their next joke to share with you. And speaking of jokes, why don't monkeys ever play cards in the wild? Because there are too many cheetahs. I promise, no more animal puns, maybe. After a refreshing break, we'll continue our journey to the Village Museum a unique open-air museum that showcases traditional Tanzanian tribal dwellings and cultural practices. You'll have the opportunity to interact with locals and learn about their daily routines and customs. Don't be shy to ask questions. The villagers are always eager to share stories and laughter. Fun fact, did you know that in some Tanzanian tribes, dancing was once used as a form of communication with extraterrestrial beings? No need to worry, though. The only dancing you need to do here is to the beat of the African drums. To end our day on a high note, we'll head to the Slipway Shopping Complex, a modern waterfront destination where you can shop for souvenirs, indulge in delicious local cuisine, and enjoy a breathtaking view of the Indian Ocean. Let's toast to an unforgettable day with a refreshing coconut water, or as the locals call it, Matafu. And if you're feeling a bit adventurous, Try balancing a coconut on your head like the locals do. It's a lot harder than it looks. Well, my dear travelers, I hope you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Dar es Salaam, where history and humor converge to create lasting memories. Remember, Tanzania's charm lies not only in its picturesque landscapes, but also in the warmth and laughter of its people. So, until we meet again. Kwahari na safari njima. Goodbye and safe travels.